I've got a couple thoughts about this business. The first is that I believe the same uh, principles, ethical standards, and attributes that we admire so much in people like Admiral Stockdale as leaders uh, certainly apply to entities and institutions like our government. The second point is that the U.S. has a usually, usually important role to play in this world, has for some time, and certainly is going to continue in the future. And the third point would be that individuals, you, I, each of us in this great country, has a very, very important role that we must play in shaping those principles and those policies which result in actions that we take in this world. We tend to attribute things to actions to things that often really aren't the correct description. For example, the Pentagon said this, or in this case, the United States said this. Mm -mm, not quite right. Leaders, people, individuals say and do things. We're responsible, in a way, for everything that's said and done in our country. What's the current state of affairs? You know pretty well, as do I, that we're in a crisis of confidence right now. People are very concerned. Basically, folks have lost trust in one another at many levels. I don't think this just happened. But right now, there's a tremendous amount of anxiety all over the world. How did we get here? Well, you know, there are lots of folks out there that are ready to affix blame. Failures in leadership. This person didn't do this, and this person did that. And what are we going to do? Whatever we do, it seems to me we have to remember and keep in mind that the world today is so interdependent, so interconnected, that anything that happens in one place ripples very quickly through the rest of the world. And the idea that you can isolate ourselves one from another is pretty unlikely. So we could spend a lot of time talking about how we got here. I think what's important now is how do we go forward? What do we do? Where do we put our priorities? What can we learn from what we've done in the past so that we can correct things? A couple things strike me. One is that we have a lot of rules. It seems to me that we spend a lot of time cranking out rules, thinking of new things, lawyers doing their thing. Um, but what good is it if at the end of the day, they don't seem to get us where we need to go. I heard a pretty startling admission uh, recently. I was up at the Fed in Boston, invited to attend a meeting, and uh, one of the business leaders in town said, you know, I think we need to look at ourselves pretty seriously. Because he said, we're, we've got all these rules, but we still managed to screw it up pretty badly. Maybe we ought to go back and look at a few principles and use those as our basis for action. Jeez, I said, now here's a guy that gets it. He also said something I thought was kind of humorous, and that was that uh, as he looked at his uh, balance sheets, he was having a hard time, because on the left side, nothing was right. On the right side, he had nothing left. <laughs> Got a few guffaws out of the audience. 